um, the results. What I'm disputing and challenging mm. is that maybe says that they had a sample size of about 2,400 and yeah. they are using the voting population um, across the country. My simple mathematics is telling me if you look at the voting population of about 18 million, it means that they sampled a percentage of that is 0.01333%. It's very, very inconsequential. So if you do a 2,400 sample size of an 18 million population and you bring out these percentages, you're causing fear and panic because it's not a, it's not a representation of what the Ghanaian people are thinking about. You need to increase your sample size a little bit more, give about a 50%, do about 9 million people, do about 10 million people. But if you do a percentage of about 0.01333%, you are causing fear and panic. I, I, cannot, I appreciate research. I, I, I value research. It helps with policy directions. But you can't do a research with a methodology like that and just suppose that it's a total representation of what the Ghanaian people are thinking about. And which is why I would want to discredit the percentages that they have put here, because it will cause unnecessary fear and panic. And that's not a full representation of what the Ghanaian people are thinking about. You, you, talk about, you talk about percentage of satisfaction of democracy, and you do your research every two years, and you say that from 2011 and 2013, it's dropped from 74% to 51%, which is a drop of about 23%. But if you look at 20 11 and 2013, why don't you tell us what, what sample you got in terms of the percentages you got from 2019 to 2021? You, you, you go back 10 years ago. So it, it becomes a bit of a challenge, really, in wanting to appreciate the level within which a democracy is either decaying or a democracy is deteriorating. So it's not, it's not an accurate representation. And if you look at the liking skills, really, as it's happening within our space, after having a stable democracy, and this is one of the longest, the most stable democracies that we have had after, after the Third Republic. This is the Fourth Republic, and we have gone almost 32 years into this, into this republic. We've had successive elections. We've had transition of, of, of power from one government onto another government with very, very minimal challenges. The people have had challenges. They've had to use the state agencies like the courts to be able to bring their... There are, there are issues to bear. You, you, look at, um, the, you look at security, and I'm involved, I'm involved in security. You look at security, and in the, in the security environment, I think that the data that um, is put out um, is that percentage of samples should the military um, intervene in politics, and then you have done um, a percentage of um, can, 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 they can intervene if the leaders abuse power 40%. Um, never intervene, 55 percent, neutral, 5 percent. But you are, you are sampling 2,400 people out of 18 million people, you know, and which is a percentage of 0.01333 percent. You talk about um, is Ghana heading in the right direction, 87 percent say no, 11 percent say yes, and 2 percent are neutral. But you have done a 2,400 sample size out of an 18 million um, voting population size, it's inconsequential. It's a 0.0133%. And so I will ask that if we want to have an accurate conversation and an accurate representation of what the Ghanaian people are feeling, increase your sample size. Don't be afraid of that. Increase your sample size. And you realize that when you increase your sample size, your Afrobarometer percentages will change. Mm.